Hello there everybody, it is me, GB Simmer. So this is like a tutorial on how to get your video cards recognized in The Sims 3. Now this is probably because you, you've just installed your game or you've just installed a new graphics card and your game has basically popped up with this message saying, you, saying your video card is unrecognized, it's not in their database, blah, 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 blah. Or you just want to make sure that your game is running off your video card. Now this is either because it's not in the database it's your video cards really really new so it's more it's better than the ones that are in the database or you or you you're just running off your cpu and you've just got a graphics card installed so um this is this is because the sims team they were a little bit stupid and they didn't update their video card database that's inside the game program files so this is a very easy fix and to check whether you're actually running off your video card is to just go to your documents electronic arts the sims 3 and then scroll down to find device config so what you're what you need to look for is your graphics card device info and it should say either it should say found it should say found one matched one but i've met i've got rid of all the bits that i've done for it and it says found zero matched zero so in order to fix this you're gonna have to go to your main computer your local disk c program files and electronic arts the sims 3 game and then into your bin and then you're gonna try you're gonna have to open up your graphics rules and your graphics cards so i don't know if, do I, if I still have to open you are you are definitely going to need to leave your device config open because um it, you have there is this number in device that you are going to need for your graphics cards this device number basically allows the sims this the graphics card file in the sims game to recognize your, this is the real deal. This is the card that you're trying to run it off of. So when you're in this card, it'll say vendor ATI, blah, 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 blah. And you're going to scroll down. So if yours is a, a AMD rate, a, AMD or ATI card, you're going to try and find your thing here. I don't, I don't, I don't have a AMD card. I have an Nvidia card. Sorry, those AMD lovers, but I'm not a big fan of AMD that much. Um, but if, uh, you've basically got to try and find your card that's nearest to a certain card. So here is the NVIDIA part. So I've got a NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. So it only goes up to the GeForce GT 650M. So what you're going to need to do is try and find out where your card would sit. So it won't, it's going to be lower than the GTX 580. But it's gonna have to be higher between, it's gonna have to be higher than the GeForce GT555M. 5, 5, 5, 5, so you're gonna put, press the enter key down, the tab, and then basically copy the card part, space, and this is where your device number slash ID comes in. So where I've got it highlighted over here, you are definitely going to need to type in that number here. So my device is 1200. Zero, zero. And then you're going to press space, have an open speech mark, and then type in what it says here, like it would there. So you're going to type in G Force space GTX 560 space T in capital letter and I lowercase, and then close off the speech mark. Now what you're going to do, you can either go file, save as, and then save it exactly where the game bin is, like this, and it should say, do you want to replace it? Yes, you do. However, if it says you can't, it's saying no, go ahead, save as, uh, go to um, desktop, and save it right there and then drag and drop it into your game bin and if it's still saying no you may need to get at administrator rights privileges if you're not the administrator on the computer so you are now completely done with the graphics card part and you are now going to need your graphics rules now this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky because you need to try and figure out where your card lies so you're going to go go ahead and find again your card vendor so if it's nvidia yours is going to be in this huge list right here or it's or if it's amd ati it, ati is here and i think amd is somewhere 
I don't know. It's somewhere. Your card is going to be somewhere. You just got to search for it. You can go file or edit even find next and type in blah, 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 blah. So if you type in, um, GTX five, cannot find GTX five. So if you try GT five, cannot find GT five, which is a bit weird because it is in here somewhere. I'm sure I've seen it. <laughs> um, you just gonna have to go ahead and find again, which one is close match to your card. So I've already done this. so I know where it is. So, Oh, I don't know what I just did. It just slid all the way back. Um, so mine is on this line right here. So you've got GT five right here and it's got, it says GT five or match, blah, 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 blah. So when you go to this part here, it's saying you're going to want to do it in alphabetical order, basically. So X is one of the last letters in the alphabet. So it's going to be after this, but the number is smaller than the GT six. So it's very simple if you just need to add your, an X to the S. So we can do, you're going to just copy this piece and then right click copy um put a space just as you know wait and then right click paste and it's there again you got gts gts now what you are going to do now is just quickly change the s to the x because that's where your graphics card should be and then you're going to go file save as again going to want to save it as again do you want to replace it yes you do you're going to want to close it down and if it's saying oh blah 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 blah, it's not letting me save uh you need to just save to your desktop drag and drop it in and replace copy and replace it still letting you not do that make sure you've got administrative rights privileges on and then it should be working so you are pretty much all done on the screen and you're going to want to load up the sims 3 again now it might take a while because my game, my computer is being very slow at the moment. Um, it may need to load up Origin unless it's still running in the tray. No, nope, no, nope, it's still running in the tray. It's all good. Um, it's not loading up. There we go. It just loaded up on the other screen. So just going to make sure I've got all my expansion packs installed like that and then click the play button. So it may load up really, really quickly. And that is a good sign to see whether your, um, graphics card is installed it's on the other screen at the moment and it's trying to not let me move it. oh 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 it's just loaded up very very quickly like that so it loaded up very quickly so we're just gonna watch while that's all loading up um as soon as we get into the screen because i still look watch all these intros don't judge me i like watching the sims 3 intro um as soon as it actually lets me log in so it's just let us go to the main screen. So if we go back to our file explorer, go to your documents, uh, electronic arts, the Sims three, and then scroll down to find your device config. If you have done it correctly, it should say, oh, it should say when you go back, when you go to your graphics device info, when it goes to database, it should say GeForce GTX 560 Ti found one matched one, and it should now be running off of your graphics card so i hope you guys have actually learned something and if you have any problems try and link it down below i also got a help from mod the sims because i found the website that helps you do what to do but it was a little bit confusing because i got very lost with it because he has an amd graphics card the person who did it so if you have an amd graphics card and you're slightly lost i'll link it in the description below and i hope you guys are having a fantastic awesome splendid amazing day and i shall speak to you all in my next lp so yes Bye, guys.